directly with Governor Ralph Torres. This service is paid for by the Office of Governor Ralph Torres. Welcome back to the Hotspot, everybody. This is our Fit to League segment where we present you with information about living a healthy lifestyle. Our friends up in the NMI and here on Guam, we are all one Marianas, one big family. And I'm now joined by Tom Babalta with uh, the Guam Department of Education, the Assistant Superintendent of Special Education. So Tom, buenas, and thank you for joining me this morning. Buenas, thanks for having me. Okay, um, you know, given the, given the sensitive nature of the, of the work that you do, Tom, um, how do you approach, uh, you know, physical fitness, uh, mental health, um, the, the combination, you know, um, of the two, uh, and how, what is the curriculum that you develop to actually um, bring that to light? So I'm also in the National Guard and, uh, you know, the Army uh, has adopted a concept called the performance triad. So um, it makes a lot of sense. So the, really the focus is kind of like a three-pronged stool. One is on nutrition, You've got to make sure that you know you've got to watch the kind of um, intake that you have the and quality are, are of what they used to be like when i was a kid <laughs> exactly you know they're, all this a, lot, they're a lot healthier now no joke oh yeah, yeah yeah so there's a lot of like processed foods that we've got to be careful about but you know it's also about portion control uh and then we've got to look at the activity level right in terms of um exercise or getting outside of the house and doing some yard work or what what have you right but just just getting up and moving around you know and then rest, you know, rest is very important and especially the quality of sleep. So when you go to the doctor, a lot of times they'll ask you, well, how many hours of sleep are you getting? And then what's the quality of that rest? Because that time is where your batteries are being recharged. That's when you're getting that uh, optimal recharge and, and getting, uh, you know, ready for the, for the next day, you know, the next, um, you know, interaction with stress, right? So um, I incorporate that into my own life. And then I also kind of push that out to, um, anyone that I, I interact with and, you know, especially if we're, we're feeling like we're not having that balance. So right. if you really look at the core, um, just looking at those three things, you know, and, and it's really about a mindset. Uh, it's really about, you know, your attitude and your, um, if you stay positive and mindful of, of what you're doing. So what I like to do is I like to take a step back. I like to review my day and I like to look at, okay, what went well and what didn't and what didn't go well what could I do differently, you know? So really just taking that time to analyze and review. And then, you know, you get another chance the next day, right? And you gotta keep on tweaking it until you kind of kind of get it right. And if you can't, then you can always reach out and ask for help from a professional or from friends, right? So we should all, it's really, we should all reflect, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I think that's, you know, a key, right? Uh, on a regular basis. And Tom, and then, Tom you know, would, it, would it be also, um, I'm, I'm sorry, beg your pardon. Would it yeah. also be uh, fair to say that, um, it's also important to to not only self-assess at the end of the day, but also kind of like remind oneself that, you know, if something did go wrong, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, definitely. You know, I mean, there's put everything in perspective. Was, yeah. Putting things in perspective, you know, and, and that's where that resiliency comes out. Right. You know, you want to make sure that you understand, you know, that things bounce back, people bounce back. And it's just a matter of, you know, taking taking life lessons and then, you know, improving and, and applying those lessons to the next day uh, and the next challenge. Mm -hmm. So what would you say for people that say, um, you know, because mental health is so much more of a broad topic and we understand it and, and actually we understand that there's so much more that we don't understand these days. Um, being mentally strong and, uh, and mentally fit and stress free, how does that then, you know, contribute back to the physical, your physical health? You know, the mind body connection is always uh, just, it, it will amaze you, right? So if your mindset is out, if you're not, your head's not in the game, then your body is going to follow, right? So you've got to make sure that that both things are taken care of, right? The the mind and the the body, right? So um, I forgot to mention, I'm a, I'm a licensed clinical social worker as well. So um, you know, I'm a licensed health, mental health professional, and you know, through the years, most of what I see people struggle with are relationship issues, whether it's a relationship issue with family or friends or with yourself. So really taking the time to reflect, you know, what can you do to improve these relationships and what can you do to, you know, improve your situation? So many times it's just a matter of awareness and, and taking a step back. So I, I say, you know, find what works for you. If reading a book works for you, if working on cars works for you, you know, find your passion and, and make sure that, you know, you have that leisure activity that's going to help you, you know, um, get to the next, uh, get, get through your challenges. 
Very well. Well, well, Tom, where can people find you on social media? You know, if, if they're watching this interview right now and they're like, they're like, wow, you know, or, or do you have social media? I guess I should. I do, but I'm not a big social media guy. So um, I'm sure you can find me, but I, 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 uh, I doubt that um, my wife would, I, I sure my, my, page with my wife. <laughs> I doubt she's going to want Speaking of to relationship home. and stress. <laughs> you, you, okay, yeah. well, you get, you got to clear things for the big boss first. I, t- I totally get that, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no problem at all. But, but you know, um, we do, we do want to thank you, Tom, for obviously, you know, for serving, uh, serving the nation. So thank you for your service in the military, but also serving Guam as a social worker and as, and as an educator and everything like your, uh, the diverse skill set that you bring to the table and everything like that is really making Guam um, a better place. And it is that awareness of, of the mind and body connection and everything. So we thank you for your insight today. All right. Thanks for having me. All right. So that's Tom Babalta with GDOE, the guard and a licensed social worker. Please stay tuned, everybody. We will be right back with more on the hotspot when we return. Get up.